Hello, welcome to this Landsweeper vulnerability video where today I'll be covering another Fortinet vulnerability. This time the vulnerability is a buffer underwrite vulnerability, which can lead to attackers being able to execute arbitrary code or perform some kind of denial of service on your Fortinet devices. So obviously it's important that you make sure that all the Fortinet devices that you have are running the latest firmware so that they're protected against any attacks for to your network. So here in the classic web interface of Landsweeper, I'm going to start with actually scanning the devices and the specific data that I need. Obviously this time we're interested in a uh, network kind of firmware version. Uh, so in order to do that, what you can do is head over to the classic interface and then head to the MIB or the MIP library. Um, since we are going to need some custom information, custom data from our network devices, uh, specifically that firmware version that I mentioned. And then here you can look for 40 gate. And once that is searched, you'll be able to basically get an overview of all of the uh, OIDs that we can retrieve or that we have in our library that you can use to scan data from network devices. And in this case, we're actually interested in the version. So I know that it's over here in the 40 gate MIP. We have the sys version. And then it would be this one right here is the one that we're going to use to actually retrieve the data and um, then report on it so that we can identify which, which devices are vulnerable to this new vulnerability. You can add this to an existing target if you've already used custom OID scanning, or you can create a new target where you just select all of the network devices that you want to scan this data for. So all of your 40 gate devices or uh, 40 net devices, I should say. So. Once you've done that scanning, uh, it will pick up the data and then you can head over to the actual report. So I'm gonna jump over to the report now. So here I've jumped to my Landsweeper site where I'm already in the report, but if you want to know where you can find it, all you need to do is head over to the report section where under security and then vulnerabilities is where you'll be able to find the new Fortinet vulnerability audit. Then you can simply head into it, run it, and you'll get an overview of all of the devices along with the version numbers, kind of the raw data that we have. Um, I've normalized this as well, so it's a bit easier on the eyes, as well as to use that to identify which of the devices are vulnerable. So this list only includes vulnerable devices. So all four of these network devices are from 4DNet are vulnerable. They do need to be updated to the latest firmware version. Um, if you want more information, you can always click on any of these devices and go to their asset page, get full details. Um, and if you want to grab this report, you can head over to our website. Um, there's always a link to the actual report, so you can look at it in your Landsweeper installation. And if you do not have Landsweeper yet, you can also head over to our site and start your free trial to try this out with your own data so you can get an overview of all the devices that are vulnerable to this new vulnerability. And with that, that'll be all, and I'll see you next time.